This right here is the Rivian R1T. It is the first modern production all electric truck in the market. And as such, it's better than most other trucks in most areas, except one, refueling. Electric vehicles have to be charged and as a rule of thumb, it takes longer to charge than to fill a gasoline car with gas. Now, how much time does it take? Well, in the average, it takes about 25 minutes to put in about 150 miles worth of charge. And that's in the fastest chargers. In the slower ones, it can take up to hours. And so if you're doing a long trip, you're gonna have to stop several times to charge. And at the end of a long trip, it might add up to hours of extra travel time. And for the most part, this is not a big issue because we as humans uh, want to stop every two to three hours to you know eat some food, to stretch our legs, to use the bathroom, that sort of stuff. And it usually works out, but at times, if you need to be at a place, if you're trying to make a deadline or something, get to a place that's far away and you just want to drive straight through, well, an electric car is not going to let you do that because you have to stop, you know, 30 minutes to an hour to charge maybe several times, depending on how long your trip is. But I have a trick to show you and how to make, how to minimize the charging time while traveling far. All right, so I'm just topping off here because we're going to go right into the desert here. So, I don't know, probably put like another 25 miles while I uh, grab something to drink. And I just went to the restroom. And so, yeah, 50 kilowatt, uh, kilowatt chargers are not 100% useless. All right, here's one trick that you can do to make your uh, battery and range last way, way longer. Uh, if you're traveling to far distance, what you do is you get behind a big truck. Uh, and it works uh, differently according to what cars are in front of you. Like, if there's a car in front of that big truck, in between you and them, it works even better. As you can see, that's what was happening here. And you can check how well you're doing just by putting the efficiency uh, meter right in front of you and you can be checking, right? So. Right now we're at 363, but I think I, I saw it as far as high as 370 uh, miles per kilowatt hour. So that's very, very efficient, right? And so if you are going to go a long way on a trip, you basically are taking a little bit of the energy away from that vehicle in front of you. They're wasting all the gas by breaking opening the the air gap in there and then you're just benefiting from that by staying behind and it closes behind you right so it just it just helps your efficiency simple little trick there we go so we're back at the ev uh go station the same one that we were been here two three times but we got the one on that side over there to connect to this truck this one on this side it's not working. And th there's another person over here that seems to be on the phone with them trying to figure out why their car, it's a Polestar, won't charge. And we might have to get on the phone <laughs> with them just to try to figure out why this station is not. It's, it's crazy, the amount of... Yeah, it's telling me the same thing. Yeah, right? It's just not happening. Just like the first time it wasn't happening and it took them to do something. So they did something over there on their end and then they got it to work. But it almost seems like they have to do it with different stations because like that's this station is not approved with this car somehow. I don't know. It's weird. Meanwhile, Tesla uh, drivers, they just think they could just park. I wonder if it's the same guy. I want to say last time we were here was also a white Tesla. Maybe. I don't know. But he's not plugged in, so it's weird. So the Rivian is not a compact car, but sometimes you can kind of put it <laughs> and park it in the compact spaces. This is definitely bigger than a Tesla Model 3, I'll tell you that much. So this is definitely gonna be a problem, right? There are so many electric vehicles now that these little stations with two, four, six 
charging stalls are going to be often taken up like this. I can't charge here. I'm going to have to move on to the next one. While the Tesla supercharger over there has like, I don't know, 20 stalls. There's definitely charging over there.